So let's go ahead and go back here. Okay, we'll say um, query active directory. I want to remove. Well, let's say what? Well, let's just start up a new solution. Say file new workflow solution. Sure. And this one we're going to call it query ad and we'll choose our right data source our right SharePoint site and name it profiles development we'll hit OK there and save and we'll this is be query AD. And then in this example, what we're the idea is is that we're going to go against Active Directory and find out um, in our users here, or in our uh, test users, we want to go to the manager and find out who uh, his boss is which is under the organizational tab here. So um, the manager, this manager is director. Uh, the manager has a direct report of employees. So we can see in Active Directory here our organizational structure. We can also click on the COO, click on organization, and see the COO reports to the CEO. Um, we can also see that the COO the director in HR report directly to the COO. So how do we get this information out of Active Directory? We're going to open up our start node, our end node. And we'll uh, go ahead and save this and we'll open up our form. Let me uh, read our questions. For example, connection to MS access. Uh, it says, in subsequent sessions, can we show a connection to uh, Microsoft Access? We, we definitely could and provide tips or inform on what the DBs and do's and don't do's of when accessing Access Databases. Yeah, so Access Databases is just another connection string. You know, with an Access, you have to be careful because it does, it can lock, so the do's and don'ts. Uh, um, it's not as a as a robust as a SQL database, but we can definitely do, and you can even try on your own, just going to connectionstrings.com. Um, that'll show you an example in your environment. So with our um, Active Directory, what we want to do is we want to first put on here our title, and we want to put a query control. So our for Active Directory connections, you have to use a query control. You can't use a lookup control. So the only thing you're going to be able to uh, do is use a query control because in the query control, you can actually specify in the connection string what your connection string is. So in our, our example, we're going to LDAP. It's test.clearprocesssolutions.com. For our uh, query control values, we're, we're going to go look at a search field and we'll go I'll go ahead and pull this in this is what your query would look like we'll update this to just call it a uh, search approver search Something like that. So we'll have a field on our form called approver underscore search. And I'll probably end up uh, grabbing that. And then we'll 
we're going to store this information in a uh, repeating table. So when you search Active Directory for certain information, we're going to store it in a repeating table. This one is not an example of the manager's email address. This is just an example of Active Directory, but I can definitely uh, show you next time how to get the manager's information. So this is just querying Active Directory, um, Attila. So the display name, uh, the account name, the mail, and we're storing that into this information, into this uh, query. So I'll hit OK here. We're going to put a repeating table right here. The repeating table is right here. We're going to have one, two, three columns. Columns names are going to be search prover name. Search approver email. And the last one is search approver, search approver last name. Okay. So we'll grab all, all of this information. We'll store it in here. We're going to put a text box right here so that we can search our Active Directory. Let's call this search. Prover underscore search. I'm going to go copy this just to make sure I have the right X path here. And we'll go back to our query control. And we'll say, this is a last name search. So approver search, we have a star um, at the end here. And so it'll search everyone's last name and then we're gonna say run when changes or to say run when the approver search changes. So once we type in an approver search, we're gonna run when it changes. We're gonna append to a repeating table, which is our uh, thing we have down at the bottom. We'll hit okay. We'll hit save. This like that. Save and publish. Let's see what we can search here. Since none of these employees will do Bob Johnson and Wilson. Query AD. Uh, let's type in. So when I queried uh, by last name, I typed in Y-O-D-E-R and hit tab. I went to Active Directory, found Lance, found his email address, and then stored his last name here. The same would happen if I typed in W. If there's multiple results for W, it's going to fill in uh, Ann Wilson. So Ann Wilson right here is um, in our Active Directory. You can see Ann Wilson here. Ann Wilson doesn't have an email address where um, some of our employees, like Lance Yoder here, he actually has an email address for Lance Yoder. So he, we, we actually brought back the Active Directory. So I hope that helps. Uh, yep, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, how was the mapping done to the repeating table? Yep, if you go to the query control, 
So Active Directory, if you're looking at Active Directory, Active Directory has, has certain um, objects in it. And the fields inside of Active Directory um, is the second parameter here. It's called display name, SAM account name, mail, and SN, which is for the last name. And then how it maps the repeating table is we, we created in a repeating table you look in the background it says search approver name search approver name is the field we're setting here search approver name equals to what's the active directory column which is called display name and then we have search um, approver email and we're setting that equal to the active directory so once you set the names of the individual text boxes inside of your form then you just check the box here that says append to repeating table and it'll put it on the repeating table. So that's how we're mapping it to there. So this that was Active Directory. We showed SQL, we showed SharePoint, we showed Active Directory. There's a ton of different examples I can show you. Um, Attila, I'll make sure I give you the query for how to get um, or an example on how to go to Active Directory, get that manager node, and then from that manager node, you're going to want to get their email, the manager's email address. It's actually a two-step query. You have to have two of these query controls. This is the first control, and then you have to have another control. So I'll make sure I get that. I'm going to send all these examples that we've done thus far to you guys, as well as a lab. The lab I'm going to give you will um, help you practice some of what you've saw, you've seen today. So it'll be a good practice um, to look at that. Um, and I think that's it. So if there's time. Okay, so I think I answered all your questions today. I will be sending this out here shortly. So you have the Active Directory search. You have the... Um, you have the SQLs and the SharePoint. If you'll have to update the SQL information, the SharePoint information, you'll have to put your own SharePoint site. So uh, thank you everyone for attending today. I'll make sure I get this after class. I'll stop the recording uh, now and we'll see you on our next uh, session.